So we just found relative maximum and relative minimum using the second derivative test. Now, in this video, I want to talk about how to use those to identify intervals where the function is increasing or decreasing. Okay, so just that part. Um, I will add another page over here so that I can sketch a graph. Um, this is the information we got. I'm going to copy this down here and sketch a graph, okay? So let's sketch a graph. I will plot negative 3, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have a point up here at one second. This is where we want to have the point. Okay, so that is my relative maximum. So that's what I just plotted. Okay, now the other one is at one. One is negative three fourteen, and this is going to be one negative eighteen. Sorry, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen. Thank goodness it's not like negative forty eight. All right, so that's negative eighteen, and I'll try to plot a point so straight down. Okay, so I'll plot that point. And this is the relative minimum. It's pretty low there. Okay, this is the maximum. So when you're using the second derivative test, you will get these critical points first. And then what you have to do is, um, sketch a graph who has maximum up here and minimum down here. Now look, to have a maximum, for this to be a maximum, should I have a graph like this red? Or should I have a graph like this green? Which graph, red or green, has a maximum at this point? The red one, right? Because the green one, this is a minimum, right? So not the green, but the red. And so that's how we have a maximum there. I want to go down to the low point, okay? So how do I have a relative minimum down here? Well, this graph should be a U shape so that this is the lowest point. Now, once you sketch like what the graph should look like at these special points, we just connect lines, okay? So what, I'm know, what I know is that this graph will go down To that point it has to go down right and then from this point on we're gonna just go up and from this point to the left the end behavior is going down so look at this for me we sketch a graph um who is I'm gonna write down the word increasing from negative infinity to negative 3, decreasing, all right, I'll try to write it down here. This is decreasing in between negative 3 and positive 1. And again, it goes back up, increasing. Okay, so what they wanted us to do was like find interval where it is increasing or decreasing. So here we go. This graph is increasing on negative infinity to negative 3 union 1 to positive infinity. Now this graph is decreasing on Negative 3 to positive 1. 
So second derivative test, the way that we find increasing and decreasing is actually the opposite of the first derivative test, right? Because remember, when we did the first derivative test, we found this increasing, decreasing intervals first, and then we found the relative max and relative minimum. So this method, we kind of do it backward. We plot the highest point, we plot the lowest point, and we try to match the graph, what the graph should do in between and to the right and left of it um, to fit this max and minimum. So two different methods, um, but on your test, I will ask you to do one question using the first derivative test, another question using the second derivative test. But this is how you can find increasing or decreasing interval by using the relative maximum and minimum that we found using the, for, uh, the second derivative test.